Borrowing from that premise, two women take the court today, surprisingly in just such a manner. One, a two-time major champion and former world number one. The other, all she's done the last year is hold the mantle as reigning Indian Wells champion. And while neither is shy or retreats in the public eye, they somehow find themselves, well, yes, it's true, flying under the radar. But for the second time in as many years, on the hard courts of this exquisite tennis garden, Kerber, Vesnina, cross paths in Indian Wells. And Kerber has her break. And she had to labor pretty intensively. It was a couple of break points that were saved very efficiently by Vesnina, but she can't do so on the third try. Yeah, the quality of serve was not as good on that third break point. Well, if it wasn't panic time before, things are starting to get a little tenser for Vesnina as the defending champion has yet to show anything for four games. Kerber relying on just steadiness from her side and a shaky start from Vesnina. Angelique Kerber has come off the boil somewhat. Remember, at one point she had three winners to one unforced error and was dominating Vesnina. She hasn't hit a winner since and now has a total of five errors. And now indeed it is gone. Spotting a four love start, suddenly a handful of games and Kerber is flummoxed. It's the defending champion with a chance to serve for a one set lead in round three. Oh, and she gives it away. A benign rally shot, just a bit too low. Clearance, not there. And there's new life for Kerber in the opening set. to work mostly down the line. She took her time here, didn't rush it, let it drop a little. Yes. Great execution. Now the points and games were just flowing for Angelique Kerber early, but suddenly the well went dry. And the defending champion found her way back in, but Kerber finds some resolve of her own and blossoms late when it matters most. One set lead for a spot in the round of 16. Kerber broken three times and Vestina herself four. But we have seen some flashes, Sophie, of some brilliant tactical moves as well as response when under pressure. Even with all those breaks, they saved a number of break points today with some flashy stuff. Yes, from both players. And once again, right here, that's flashy enough for you. Oh, oh, oh well. All right, Sophie, mark it down. Yes, we've been waiting for it. And <laughs> here it is. It the comes. First of the match. At the 66 minute mark. Backhand down the line for Vesnina. She's been using the backhand cross court effectively, but look at how brilliant. The preparation, the execution, the length, even for somebody who can scramble defensively like Kerber, she, all she could do was watch. And that gets a bellow from Kerber. 
She had to work for it, but she's got it. Not just one, not just two, but another three love start. Can she hold on comfortably this time for a straight sets win over the defending champion? has been really the most successful off the drop shot with the backhand drop shot cross court. So Just cute. amazing touch and you can't really see it because at the last second she disguised it so well. Game. And Bestina bails out. She tries to get too cute and throws in an ill-advised drop shot that is ineffective. And so it goes for Angelique Kerber. The opportunity's there. And still just one has ever done it in the desert. Navratilova remains the only player to win back-to-back -back titles here at the BMP Paribas Open as Kerber knocks off the defending champion Elena Vesnina in straight sets. Well, one thing we've learned so far in 2018, don't lose the opening set to Angelique Kerber because she improves to 12-0 on the year and holding that advantage as she moves through. In an hour and 39 minutes, victory for Kerber.